Welcome back to the podcast. Today we are doing a recap of episodes one through 10. Just be in the first season thinking of some things we might have skipped or missed or wanted to give you a little extra tidbit. Yay, welcome to Shift Happens, the podcast about navigating the lighter side of life's challenges. I'm Robin McIntyre, a certified life and transitions coach. And I'm Monique Eckes, question asker. I am acting as you. So special. <laughs> it matters. Yeah. Well, and I we don't really have much of a format beyond that today, except to go over each one of the episodes that yeah. we've already done. Um, high five to us. High five. For, Thank like, you for being here. Yeah, completing this. And uh, hopefully you've had a chance to listen to all, all the episodes so far. Get yourself caught up. This has been so fun. It ha it's been yeah. one of the most exciting things for me in a very, very long time. Yeah, yeah. Is it's forced me to kind of gather some pillars and some thoughts uh, and just have a place to put it with someone really, really fun to do it with. <laughs> We're making it lighter over here. Yeah, we are here to make it lighter. And we want we want to talk about things that are hard because that's yeah. that's what being stuck is, is when we don't want to look at hard stuff. I'm loving the format. I've never listened to a podcast like this. There's multiple people podcasts out there. There's people who interview yeah. others, but I think it's kind of fun to pretend like I'm a listener of the podcast and ask the question for people. Yeah, I love this format, Monique, and I'm just, I'm really grateful to you that Aww. you helped us get started and now you're helping me do it. And mm. I am not the host. We are co-hosts. Co co okay, co In fact, I love that you take the reins. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's so much fun for me. It's just so exciting to me to be able to put this out into the world in so many different ways, because I don't know if you know, this podcast is on um, audio version and video version out on Robin's uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, and on the website. So there's no way that the world's not going to hear all the cool messages that you have. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, when you have somebody to run with that you relate to so well, both being in business, both building our business, oh uh, both wanting to help other people, it just, it's been so much fun. Okay, a couple other things that I want to talk about before we start into every episode. I love how every episode's connected, first of all. Yes. It's so fun because sometimes we'll get to like episode seven, I'll go, oh my gosh, this was kind of building an episode two or goes hand in hand with it. It's so fun to put all the puzzle pieces together. That is what's fun about coaching too. Okay. So, you know, when we're learning all these things and even when you're taking notes or at the times you take notes, you know, all these things feel separate, but what's so cool mm -hmm. is when they, when we get that they're all so intertwined, our self-awareness, you know, being kind to ourselves, all the, the mm -hmm. thought processes that create our behaviors and our results. Mm -hmm. Once that gets clear, it's so easy for people to commit to doing a little digging around and doing the work. Yeah. And it's just like you, you're, you're curious and you're excited. So it makes the learning more fun mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah. easier to change. Yeah. <laughs> um, and one other note that I wanted to let people know, not to scare you off, but we do talk about some deep topics in here. Mm -hmm. So I just want you to be aware of that. Uh, we're not intentionally putting explicit, you know, really nitty gritty things on here, but there could be things that trigger some people. Yeah. And there's, so. and I'm used to telling my stories. Yes. And so sometimes I forget that not everybody is that open about trauma or something hard. Yeah. So we are going to be better at mentioning that at the beginning of the podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Monique had that, had that in our notes and I just kind of forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we usually we have notes ahead of time and we yeah. usually know what story we're going to bring up. Yeah. It's just a matter of remembering to let you know. Anything you want to say before we jump into each episode? I'm just really grateful that you are here to join us and to listen to what we have to share because we want to we want to help and lighten your load and life can be heavy sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also grateful for you, Monique, Aww. and I, I really am. I'm just having such a kick, and to be able to take hard life lessons uh, and many of my own stories to be able to bring them to you um, helps me just to feel like maybe there's more meaning to my life if, if what I have been through can help somebody else. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I'm just ex I'm excited to see where this is going to go. Yeah. I'm excited for this to grow. So if you enjoy these podcasts and you get value, even if there's an episode that especially makes you think of somebody, please just push share and get it out to them. Mm -hmm. And also to really be brave and ask you to please subscribe, please like, yeah. and please watch for social media things that come across 
so that you can help us grow if you see it fit. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's dive into each individual episode. Yeah. We're, we just each have a little bit extra we wanted to say. Um, we have to reel ourselves in on every episode. Like okay. We could go on and on. But we're making this bite-sized for you. And then there's always a, oh, I meant to say this, or oh, it sounds yes. like I meant that, but I really meant this. So yes. yeah, we're not yes. going to go deep. We're not going to make this forever, but we're going to make it. We're going to make little short things. <laughs> Get your coffee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, get your drink. Okay, so episode one was secret struggles that put shame on autopilot. Yes. Okay. Um, that kind of went off on a little tangent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I can ask the question all over again. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, we did it, Robin. We That's did it. That's fun. That was our first episode. It was. We went in heavy the we first, really, the first yeah. round. Yeah, yeah, I um, and, and I think because I struggled so much with shame at some points in my life mm -hmm. that I, I just, I'm like, let's, let's deal with it. Let's bring it out and don't keep it in the closet because then it grows. And uh, we use Brene Brown's quote to bring mm -hmm. that out. So um, really what I want to be clear on is I did not specifically s mention the difference between guilt and shame in that episode. Gotcha. Yeah. So the guilt is about our behavior. We might feel guilty that we did or didn't do something. The shame is about who we are. Yeah. Very different. Right. So, oh yeah. And yeah. then when I was, um, trigger warning, bulimic, <laughs> when I was bulimic, the story I tell in, in episode one, I, I, there was no doubt it was shame. Gotcha. So my main message there was, you know, we're taking that with us everywhere we go in every relationship and every endeavor we're trying to do. Um, we're carrying this heavy energy. And so I wanted to, I wanted to clear that up. Yeah, I love that. It yeah. could be a whole nother episode. <laughs> I'm always saying that. That's yeah. a whole nother episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's useful. I remember asking you specifically shame versus secrets. Yeah. You know? And I was thinking like as I kind of listen back to some of the podcast episodes myself, where shame really gets me is when it comes to my teaching. And sometimes, a lot of times, and we've talked about this, it's, oh gosh, I don't make, make nearly enough money to be considered a teacher of mm. this. Mm. And that's where my shame, I think, comes in more. It, maybe it's not a classic example of shame. I don't know. This could come in when I'm feeling not adequate enough. Not enough. Not enough. That is right? identity, right? Yeah. So the, yeah. Identity. Yeah. yeah. And just like, oh gosh. Yeah. So I think that was another good tidbit for me that I learned from that. That's really nice. I mean, that's a really good example. Um, again, it's who I'm being or you know, who you think you should be yeah. versus how you yeah. feel like you are, it mm -hmm. makes, yeah, that. Really good episode. It was a really strong one. To yeah, come out of yeah the we, did, we did go strong on the I'm first excited. one. Yeah, yeah, that's good though. <laughs> like we are here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we did we, it. We, we, we all full force, we <laughs> yeah. jumped in. Yeah. All right, so then um, episode two, okay? That sitting on the fence gives you splinters. <laughs> Chai aerobics, get warm, you're falling asleep. <laughs> running in place, running in place. Did they get the heat turned on yet? <laughs> yes. Sitting on the fence just wastes a ton of energy. That okay. Was, that was our main message there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have anything for that one? Because I, I do. do, but you go first. Okay. One of mine, when thinking back on this, was that indecision is a decision. You're so right. You know, and so that was one of the things I was thinking because so often we don't want to commit to one thing or the other and we just want to kind of think about it for a while. And like, it's really just deciding not to decide. That's so true. You know? It's black and white, yep. The black and white, yep. right? And it does take a ton of energy it away. Does. You don't have to remind myself sometimes that if I'm just like in research mode <laughs> for way too long or something like oh, that, so then I'm really true. just in indecision. Procrastination. Procra yeah, so much of this just sounds like permission you gave me permission to yeah. not have to decide. Well, and I'm glad you brought up permission. It sounds like I'm saying, oh, it's okay. Let yourself off the hook. I talk ah, about grace all the time, right? Yeah. And that is not what I mean. I mean, if you're making the decision, okay, if you're getting off the fence and you're owning your decision, then it, just own it and then go with it. So mm -hmm. giving yourself grace is not about excuses. I still want gotcha. you to I still want you to call yourself out and take care of business, whatever that might be. Yeah. Gotcha. So Ron, what do you have to say about episode two? Getting off the fence. So here's what I realized. It took me 
I don't know, watching the episode twice during editing that I went, ah, I never told him that I just made it sound like, yeah, I got off the fence and decided I'm going to enjoy my wine and that's the end of that. <laughs> well, I didn't even tell him the good news. So I just wanted to let you know that I've been living alcohol free since December 31st of 2021. Two, two, three, no, 20, yeah, 21, December 21. Wow. And real quick story is I just, I did know that I, I just knew because I, that it was going to happen. And I got up on uh, New Year's Eve morning and I came out to the kitchen and I looked at my husband. And I said, I'm getting a tattoo. Okay. I know. He said, what? We, we've never been tattoo people. We've never had a desire to have a tattoo. I've never, you know, <laughs> <Got it. yeah. laughs> well, it's very, very popular, right? But we just never, that just wasn't our thing. And so he just kind of looks at me and says, yeah. I said, yep, yeah, today's the day. I said, you know, if I celebrate the new year tonight, and drink wine to bring in the new year, why would anything change? Oh. So I wanted, I wanted to use the new year like for real. I don't usually do believe in uh, resolutions, but I just, I just said, no, I'm ki it's, it's almost like seeing on a Saturday, I'll start my diet on Monday. On Monday, <laughs> yes. Have you ever done that, oh, right? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so easy to do that. Mm -hmm. And I just knew it was time. I thought I don't wanna go into another year. This has been on my mind. Mm. So. I did that. I just right. said, today's the day. I'm going alcohol free. I'm excited. And then I, I would have to look at the calendar, but I actually did design a tattoo. It's a <laughs> balloon. Um, the string comes down and has the date on it. Okay. And then the balloon just says, I'm free. Oh. With an exclamation point because, uh, because alcohol was starting to be a concern for me. So, mm. um, but I did get off the fence. But yeah, before okay. that, there was that time, like I talk about in episode two, where I just said, you know, I am enjoying my wine right now, and I don't have a big, huge reason right. to quit other than I was getting the tap on the, the shoulder. <laughs> so having that tap gone. Ooh. That could be an episode if nice. there's if you have interest in that, especially. Oh, yeah. yeah, living yeah. alcohol free has been amazing. Amazing. Nice. Yeah. All right. So Yay. That's what I wanted to share with that episode. Wonderful. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. That's awesome. In episode three, is it okay if I just talk about uh, if I give the intro? Oh yeah, please okay. do. Okay. That's, okay. That's great. Right. That's great. So episode three, you can't bully your way to your goals. Mm -hmm. All right, we ready for this Robin. This is exciting. <laughs> we don't have to do a little sure aerobic skin intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is snowy out. We warm? Warm up, yeah. <laughs> you know, we talked about um, our inner critic and how damaging it can be, mm -hmm. right? To, uh, to have that playing in the background all the time. And basically that we want to be befriend and, ma and manage our inner critic. I guess what I, I, I wanna remind you of is that it's like locking arms with the best part of you. Mm. Part, with your best part of yourself, it's like you have, she's in tow with you. Mm. Mm -hmm. And to me, when we're in connection, you know, if, if I'm in connection with me, I'm in connection with God. So for me personally, that just is a fit. Mm. So, but locking arms with your highest self Gotcha. That's, that's basically the version that's helping. The other thing is about this is perfectionists. Oh. Okay. And that, okay. that is actually a label, but I'm, and I'm using it lightly, but I've, I've, I'm from that camp. And I, I just want to share, when I was in therapy, I'll never forget when the therapist looked at me and she said, so you think that you need to be perfect all the time. How, and which probably means you think your husband and your boys need to be perfect all the time. Oh. How does that feel? Oh. I will never forget it. Mm -hmm. I will never forget it because I went, oh my gosh, of course I'm projecting that oh. onto everything and everyone. Yeah. And I'll just never forget it. So one more reason to lighten up a little bit. Gotcha. And, okay. and perfectionism and excellence we can go into on another podcast. Oh, yeah. This episode made me think, um, I'm listening back again, uh, I'm, not, I'm not usually super mean to myself, but I do find myself saying like, did you work enough today? Okay. You know, are you, did you do enough to have, to deserve downtime? Oh, big right? stuff. So where I'm not like in That's inside really going, oh, Monique, you didn't work enough today. Wow, you suck. I'm not doing that kind yeah. of a bullying, but it's more like, 
Uh, okay, can I take today off? Did I get enough work done? When I go and sit around the dinner table with my family, will I have a pretty good list of things that I got done today? Okay. You know? Yeah, so that's more how I kind of bully myself. And it, it kind of is a sly bully. Yeah, it is a sly bully. It that's, is. That's a great you know, analogy. That's yes. how I thought of it was, oh, that is a little bit of a bully. That's so good. Uh -huh. Like uh, it, it kind of plays into what we said a few minutes ago about the being good enough. Oh, yeah. Did I yeah. do good enough today? Uh -huh. Do I deserve Doing. this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so good. Episode four, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have your coffee still. Uh, weighing in on a healthier lifestyle. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> right here. No, I left gets caught on my middle. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Ouch. Ow. <laughs> so lovely. <sighs> well, what comes up here is I would just... It's very personal. We did mention in the episode that it's yeah. like your your definition of healthy is really what's important. But what I was thinking about with this episode is if you could share because you have lost some weight. Ah. And I wanted to talk about low hanging fruit. Okay. When it comes to getting healthier, and we'll 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 go with the weight loss because okay. it's just an example of a lot of people tune into, and you've lost weight. And one of the things you did, and you called it this, you said, well, one of the low hanging fruit things uh -huh. that I did. Do you remember what it was? No. The coffees. Oh, like at the drive through coffee shops. Yeah. Of yeah. What you what you took out. Yeah. How much have you lost? Uh, Twenty pounds. 20 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> These are actually new jeans, the next size down. So good. But yeah, for me, it was the foofy coffee, I call it. Yeah. You know, when you go through the coffee stand and like I would do this every Sunday with my husband when we went out to do our photography and, and he was starting to notice it too. Like, oh, we're kind of doing this too much. So it's helping, it's helping the waistline and the pocketbook. <laughs> So like the but coffees with the sweet stuff in them yeah. and yeah. Yeah, right. So that was one treat that you just said, I'm going to, have you, yeah. you haven't completely nixed it? No, yeah. no. Um, but oh, the other thing I do is when we do go out, I don't get any pastries. That's a huge change. Yeah. And I realized I don't really like the pastries anyway. <laughs> They're not that good. They just go well with coffee. Really good. So yeah. just the low hanging fruit, when Monique brought that up, it, she was saying, you know, uh, Robin, I don't want to be obsessed. I don't want to get into this kind of thinking around food and diet. I said, good. I love that, right? <laughs> because anybody that's been on that boat, yeah. you know, I have. I, I know that from years ago and, and lots of clients I've worked with. So it's more the norm than not. But you were talking about what are some easy things. And, and this is important, too, because I've always taught this. Like, look for the simple stuff first. Mm -hmm. Don't go drastic and don't. Don't cut out all the things and make your life hard and white knuckle it. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. Start with the easy stuff. And for you, it was pastries and, and cutting back on special coffees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's, we're going to go deep on lots of health stuff over the podcasting that's times. True. And, and if you have requests, that's, you know, oh the more, gosh. more requests we get, if there's things you want us to talk about as far as health goes, yeah. um, I mean, it's always at the helm, but. Yeah. But let us know, leave comments um, and, and, you know, reach out. Let me know. Yeah. Because it's probably what's happening for you. If it's happening for us, it's happening for you. Is each of these conversations is spurring another question. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so true. And another concept, another idea. Obviously, you can reach out directly to Robin. Yes. We, we always talk about her her website and all the freebies and things. So she's available. Um, but we're open to podcast ideas, too. Yeah. Uh, so always feel free to drop us a line. Yeah. We just yeah. want to make a difference for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay. Awesome. Um, did you have anything else you want to say on episode? Four? Oh, that uh, sleep. <gasps> oh, sleep. I, you know, I just wanted to bring gotcha. that up again. If you're not getting good sleep, you, that that I'm gonna. I don't say this very often, but it has to be on your list. It really does. Good sleep has to be on your list for mm -hmm. your best, your best everything, your best health, your best attitude, your you know the thoughts, all the things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've worked on it a lot this last year. You know, I ended up getting diagnosed with sleep apnea, so I've got that CPAP, and that takes a few months to kind of acclimate. And, you know, you work with a fan on or the pillow, and just there's a lot of stuff around sleep to make it better, and I've been working on that a lot this year, and it's making a difference. And you didn't, I mean, yeah. it wasn't easy to face all that right no you're like no who has time for this I yeah i gotta go do a sleep study or whatever but right. it's kind of like slowing down to go fast yes sharpen your axe yeah. so you can cut down the tree faster <laughs> that's right <laughs> we'll get to that don't worry yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so I totally agree sleep is yeah that's so i really kudos good. by the way right oh, thanks. handling yeah. that that's a big deal 
Yeah, well, and you know how it is. A lot of people our age are like, I'll sleep when I'm dead. And I have said that <laughs> for most of my life. Uh, <laughs> and I take it all back. Okay. Sleep is important. <laughs> you ready to move on to episode yes, five? Yes, okay. please. Yeah. Whew. All Let's right, go. here we go. Let's go. Rocking chair moment. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <sighs> <laughs> you have to say about this one. I said a lot in that episode. Okay. So, you know, I'll just, I'm going to read this to you. So okay. we reflected on life from the vantage point of its end and assessing whether one has lived according to their values and dreams and practical advice we gave on staying aware of life's trajectory, honoring self promises and taking action towards a fulfilling life. Mm -hmm. In a nutshell, that is what we were talking about. Yeah. You know what? Take a look, this is what we always ask you to do, take a look at your life, be brave, because someday, if you get lucky enough to sit in that rocking chair in the end, at the end of your life, how are you gonna feel looking back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 and I think what I had written down, it's important to revisit this pretty oh, often, yeah. especially <laughs> when we lose steam, or I've noticed when I've been maybe sick, yeah. Or, you know, on vacation, just when I've had a gap in maybe my normal routine or whatever it is, um, it's just good to look at that again that's pretty a, mm -hmm. on a regular basis, I think. Mm -hmm. That's a really good point. Yeah. Really good point. Because, I mean, life happens and we're human and we get busy and mm -hmm. it's just like any time you have a good routine, if you get thrown off, it's just easy to keep going. You know, that's true. So you're right. It's, exactly. Yeah. And sometimes it's going into like all the little minutia that we need to do and lose sight of like what we kind of touched on a little bit in there is our why. Yes. You know, like why you do things. Well, you touched on it quite a bit, why yes. you have your company. And so I think for me, it's important to reground. I think that's something you would it's, probably say. Yeah. Reground re with your why. Good. Yep. And revisit this one a lot. Yeah, really this good. This concept. Why you do yeah. what you do, why you, yeah. why it's important that you live your best life, for mm -hmm. sure. It's really easy to get sidetracked mm -hmm. from that, yeah. I, I think. Yeah. No, we're going <laughs> to normalize that. It's a truth. That's it true. It is the truth. Yeah. yeah. It's a great, great reminder. Keep, yeah. Revisit it just like our goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Good point. All right. Episode six was, surprisingly, fear of success. <laughs> We planned it. <laughs> We're in flow. We're in flow. We're in flow. We got flow sleeves. <laughs> that was good. Uh, it was it was actually a, a fun episode to do because mm -hmm. um, we it's one of the ways we self sabotage mm -hmm. our success. Whether that you know any goal, it doesn't. We talk business a lot, but it can be anything in your life that you're setting out to do. Um, and you say, why do I, why, why am I not doing this? I yeah. know what I want. Why aren't I going after it? Mm -hmm. Fear of success can be hidden in there. And we talked a lot about it. That was really a light bulb moment for me. That really was. It really kind of, and it made me think again about future goals and future me. And okay, if I've got this goal and I get the success, then what's it going to look like and how we kind of pulled it all around yeah. to fear of failure and like what and i've talked about that episode quite a bit with like my family and because it's a bigger um i think issue for people than i thought it was you know i talk about blocks a lot in coaching mm -hmm. what what blocks you from getting what you want and fear comes up with in so many ways yeah. but fear of success yeah the fear of the responsibility yeah. and um, there's a lot to that. So I wrote something about this and okay. y'all have probably heard this, I, I, but I forgot to write down who said it. Okay. So I, maybe you even know because it's that popular. Okay. Okay. There is freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky. And you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? Oh. Do you know who's... Oh, I don't know. I can't remember who, oh, and I can't believe I forgot know, to include it. Yeah, would you put it in the comments if you uh, know? I love that. Yeah. What if you fly? Yeah, what if you fly? Yeah. Um, we'll never know if we don't try and push through anyway. Yeah. And so, yeah, to have keep that handy if it helps you Ooh. to be brave yeah. in your in your with your goals and with success. Okay, um, episode okay. seven. Are oh, you yes. ready? Okay, episode seven. Here we go. 
Ooh. I love this, this okay. little prop. I know, me too. We're putting on our glasses. We're putting if on you're glasses. Listening. Okay. Ooh. And Monique. Oh, Monique. I'm not supposed to be happy with these glasses Monique's, on. Yeah, and Monique's going to be sad. She's got cloud shaped dark glasses with gold chains and little dark beads at the bottom. So, like rain clouds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's yeah. looking through a lens that makes her just kind of sad. Yeah. And yeah, we're not going to judge because we don't know where the lens, you know, the lens might be yeah. just something you're going through right now or it might be yeah. your experiences and you know what's made you who you are and all the things your beliefs all the things that yeah. that's Monique's vision right now yeah. well so what we're talking about is episode seven was the cure for road rage yeah and so oh, yeah. we were talking about looking through different lenses so Robin's got these cool gold round glasses yeah. with pink rose lenses. colored Ro glasses rose colored glasses right Nice. Better? I think we nailed it. I think that was much better. Let's do a couple of thumbnail poses. Okay. We had a lot of fun with the glasses. Yeah. A little behind the scenes. It, she has quite a few. Yeah, we had different glasses that uh -huh. day. But this is really what we want you, why we want you to not, uh, why we want you to know that even though it's called Road Rage and we have Road Rage as a really good example, there's so much more meat to that episode oh, yeah. because we're talking about compassion. So if we all look through, remember that we're all looking through a different lens at the world, at each other, at our life, uh, we can be a little kinder. Yeah, yeah. A kinder. I, we'll probably expand on that episode as well, too. Yeah. But I want to back up just for a second and make sure I'm, I'm not knocking anybody that's looking through cloudy glasses. Okay, right? yes. Yeah. And, and thinking true. rainy thoughts. I, I have to back up on that because yeah. there, there's a reality there. Being sad, being depressed, whatever that might be, it's, we're not knocking that. It's just an extreme example. It's, it's an analogy right. and a metaphor for you to remember that everybody, we all hear it all the time, everybody's going through something. Yep. So yeah. be kind. And mm -hmm. and it also applies to being kind to ourselves. Yeah. Because the glasses we look through have to do with how we were raised, the influences, our experiences, and our beliefs. Oh, episode eight was faux po. Yeah. Fear of other people's opinions. Yes. Okay. Get my little thin hair. Oh, oh, the baby here. Oh, oh, I didn't even turn the screen towards us. Well, whatever. Oh, no, we're, we're fine. Just, we know it's good. We're good. Yeah. And we said a lot in that one, too. That yeah. might be, you know, so what I'm going to say is check it out because, because again, talk about self-sabotage, right? If we have a goal and we have something we want to do, whether it's big, little, whatever, a lot of times the thing that comes rushing in is what will they think? Mm-hmm. Either if I succeed or if I go for it or if I don't see it, it, any way you look at it. It's when we let someone else, what we believe is other people's opinions, stand in our way of making choices that we need to make for ourselves. Ah, okay. And I think <laughs> this, this, another, this is another one for me that can be a little bit sneaky. And it's probably just because I'm still working on my self-awareness now that I'm thinking about it. But sometimes this can be a little sneaky for me. Okay, and a little way? subtle. Yeah. Because um, I don't think it's, I'm really affected by it. I am. Oh, other people's opinions. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, good. I don't base a ton of my decisions on other people's opinions. Right. But... I am affected, of course. Yeah. You know? Um, so I used to be com terribly, terribly shy as a child. I was so incredibly shy. Couldn't talk on the phone. Couldn't talk to other people. No way, no how. Um, and some of it is probably wrapped up in this, this faux po idea. Mm. Until one day I was in high school or something, I was like, ah, forget it. I'll never see these people again. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm still affected by it, of mm -hmm. course. I think mean, we talked about that in the episode that we're, we can't escape that. Right. You know? Um, but I think learning to see that, yeah. like identify it yeah. when we are letting it hold us back. Yeah. Cause it is yeah. easy. Oh, how many, we, we, I've said it. I know lots of people say, well, I don't care what people think. Uh -huh, oh, yeah. and a reminder again, even though we say it in the episode, we're not coming from that kind of energy yeah. of, I don't care what anybody thinks. Yeah. It's more about not letting other people's opinions dictate what you will and won't do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think so. All right. That's a good episode. Mm -hmm. Yay. And I just made one more note. Oh, check yes. in with yourself on this. Okay. Like you said, oh. it can be sneaky. So check in with yourself. Uh, and a good way to do this just off the cuff is, do you have a goal that you've had for a very long time? Mm. And it, it mm -hmm. could be lots of things. I mean, that might not be the answer, but it, but it, but check for it. Yeah. Check. It, does this goal have anything to do with what anybody else thinks? Yeah. Yeah. 
to me, sometimes it comes down to what they think and getting their permission or their oh, input. Permission. I have to get everybody's yes. input and permission. Oh, I got to, again, kind That's of an stuck episode. in research. <laughs> that you is know? an episode coming. You're, yeah, it's uh, so true. I think so, too. Looking for, oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Getting. Oh, is it okay with everybody? Oh my gosh. This is what I do. If I improve myself, will it be okay oh. with everybody? Yes. I can't just trust my gut, right? I have to get everybody's oh, yes. opinions. Yes. Yes. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I boy. Can that's see a whole nother. nother yeah. <laughs> rabbit oh. hole. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Episode nine was slow. Go, slow down to go fast. Did I have that right? I, slow down to speed up. Or I've slow heard down? both, but okay. we had slow down to go fast. Slow down to go yes. fast. All right. Breaks. Put in there. <laughs> That's my break. <laughs> yeah. <Get a> break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had fun with that too. Yeah. Um, and that yeah. episode nine and 10 were similar, but, but yeah. separate enough that we did two episodes because of um, one's more long term. The speed up to go fast is looking at a general energy that we're working from. So if we're in this panicked, rushed energy all the time, is it productive? Probably not. Mm. Um, how to slow yourself down enough to, to like we said, sharpen the ax. Uh -huh, yeah. I don't have time to sharpen the ax. I got to cut the tree down. I only have this much time. Well, yeah. if you sharpen the ax, <laughs> take the 10 minutes to do that first, you'll chop the tree down easier and faster. Mm -hmm. So same concept there. Okay. The other example I came up with since then would be, I don't have time to write my list for the day. Oh, if you're not, if you're, if you fly by the seat of your pants, some uh -huh. people just do that well, yeah. right? Not judging, but if it gets to you and you feel like yeah. at the end of the day, I'm tired of, of running on this kind of energy, mm -hmm. um, taking time the night before or the morning of to just slow down with your thoughts. Mm -hmm. What's, what's the most important thing today? What do I need right now? What, you know, what just, just settle yourself down and ask the questions we often feel like I don't. Who has time for that? Mm -hmm. Who has time? For, who has time to journal? Who has time to meditate? Who has time to exercise? But it all comes back to, it will help your energy, and you will be more productive if you slow yeah. down. So I have one quick example before we move on to the last yeah. episode, which is kind of tied. Um, is that I messaged you the other day because I the slow down to go fast concept, right? Yeah. I was trying so hard to get this techie thing done. And I was frustrated. I'm like, well, not totally frustrated. I was puzzled. Like, this isn't working. I'm doing it right, but it's not working. And I kept doing the same thing. And like, there's only so many ways I can fix this problem. And eventually I just walked away and I oh, went yeah. and sat in the garden. And I was like, hey, look, it's not that hot out right now. I'm just going to go weed some of this stuff out here. And it, it came to me. While you were pulling weeds. While I was pulling weeds, That's I awesome. slowed down because I was just kind of repeating the same thing yeah. over and over, like reading the directions, like I'm doing this all right. I don't understand. Uh, and then I sat in the garden. I'm like, oh, I think I know what it is. That's so good. And I told Steve because it was a problem we were working on together, yeah. my husband. And he's like, oh, OK, let me go try that. And, I, and that was the issue. So that was good. Issue That's a great time. example. Yeah. It is. It's about taking a breath, just stepping away before you get to the pit. really, I mean, I'm sure you were already frustrated, yes. but especially anything technological I'm yeah. the same way. It's like, okay, leave the room for a minute. Uh huh. Yeah. I wasn't frustrated yet. Yeah. Right. That's a great example. Yeah. And so what you were saying a minute ago with here on episode nine, we're going to talk about a little bit more in episode 10. Yeah. Episode 10 is the power of the pause. And what I liked is that it was kind of building on the uh, on the slow down to go fast with like one more action step, which is the dominoes and yeah. like look seeing it through. Yeah. You know, if I'm in your space. My, my, foot, your space. my foot in your space. I'm in the Nothing space. Yeah. <laughs> That's touch. <laughs> so we're talking, we're taking a few more moments in the moment. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we're come, we come on a decision. So slowing down to go fast is an overall concept of our energy, right? Yep. Okay. And then the, the um, power of the pause is about in the moment, catching things so quickly that you can choose separate or different. Mm -hmm. Choose different. So we use the we used a lot of food examples and things like that because again that's where my background. But we talked about just like when you're going to the fridge and you're not really hungry, just out of habit, open the fridge. That's where we learn to pause. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Am I hungry? What do I need? So yeah. the, if you get really good at the power of the pause, 
It doesn't matter what goal, what you're doing. It could be in a conversation with somebody. It can be a, a conversation mm. getting heated. But you get good at that and catching it. Then you get just back up a second and take a breath. And remember, breathe. Yes. <laughs> breathe. breathe. And you have, you have a choice. You have a choice. So I used this last night. Do tell. <laughs> with food. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we were watching just a little bit of TV and it was pretty close to bedtime. And I was like, ooh, do I want to go get like, go in the kitchen and get a tortilla and toast it and put some butter and sugar on it, you know, <laughs> oh, and cinnamon, and like, yum. you know, mm, <laughs> you know, and I was like, no. And I played it through in my head. Oh yeah. Oh good. So talk about that because we really didn't go into that playing it through. Well, yeah. Cause so episode 10 is the domino, yes, right? Yes. So dominoes is play the scenario through. And I thought, oh gosh, then I have to take the time to go upstairs, go to the kitchen, get it all out. And then I'll just sit here and eat it while I'm watching a show and I won't really enjoy it. And then I have to brush my teeth and get all the cinnamon out. And really all I want to do is taste like the cinnamon. <laughs> Wasn't even the sugar. It's, yeah, like, you know, the cinnamon sugar yeah. combo, probably. Yeah. And so I just kind of imagined the taste of it, and nah, I'm good. <laughs> Sat down. Oh, how fun. Yeah. That's so really fun. Used it yeah, congratulations. Yeah, That's thanks. so good. I, I will say this about the, the power of the pause it helps you take 100% responsibility. Oh, yes. For your choices and decisions. It's yeah. so easy to pass the buck or blame oh or justify or do any of that. If you really want to own your stuff, get good at the power of the pause. Absolutely. Because everybody can do this. Yeah. And it is a practice. Oh my gosh. Those things that you have choice over, you really do have choice over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's so much we do that we don't think so. Uh, and then I thought it was worth repeating our little one-liner that we came up with for that episode. Uh -huh. You say it. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Drop and choose your role, R O L E. Ah, yeah, what role are you gonna play? Yeah, yeah. Which it's your life. Ah, uh, and I just okay. That's the end of all the recaps. So I just love again how it all kind of loops back to each one of them. It does self awareness. Yeah, yeah. self awareness is just the key, really. Yeah. Because when we're aware, we catch our thoughts, and our thoughts dictate everything. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the, our choices I'll just. We have a lot more to say. Yeah. We clearly we, have we, a lot more to so say. So much. <laughs> <laughs> and we are already yeah. planning out the next season. We can't yeah. wait to bring you along with yeah. us. Yeah, so please, we'd love, we have a gazillion ideas, but we uh -huh. also want to bring you what you want to yeah, talk about. True. Yeah. So please send us your ideas. I think we should just say our outro and wrap it up. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for being yeah. here. Yeah. My website is robinmcintyre.com. My name is spelled with all I's, R-O-B-I-N-M-C-I-N-T-I-R-E. And remember, shift happens. Shift happens. And Robin's here to help you. And I am here to help you. Yay. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thank you. All right. Ciao. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> 11. Uh, Oops. 11. You do. Oh, here Three. we go. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, thanks, Monique. Yay. So fun. <laughs>